From a man trapped in his truck as an EF4 tornado passes overhead, and a sudden earthquake draining a rooftop pool in Mexico City, to a crazy windstorm in central Russia that basically deleted this guy's entire farm, and a horrifying tornado in northeastern China that looks more like the apocalypse, here are some of the scariest tornadoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes caught on camera. On April 9th of 2015, a powerful EF4 tornado tore through the towns of Rochelle and Fairdale, Illinois. The worst part? It was one of seven tornadoes that touched down across the area. Winds peaked at 200 miles per hour. One man almost got caught in the thick of it. Sam Smith was on a business trip from Minneapolis to Indiana. He decided to take the long route around Chicago, which brought him up I-39 through Rochelle. Sam was born and raised in North Carolina and had never seen a tornado before. That all changed when he came face to face with a monster storm. I have honestly never been in a tornado before. Totally crazy coming right, it is coming right over the top of me. It's a little bit scary. And I don't really know what to do except, I guess, sit here. Maybe duck down. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. It's ridiculous. Scary. The truck is, oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Sam might be the calmest person on earth for a guy that's never seen a tornado before. He throws his truck in reverse and backs under an overpass for cover. The only thing he can do is duck down. You might want to tilt your head to see the storm. You can hear the wind and almost feel the truck shaking. He might sound calm, cool, and collected, but Sam must have been terrified. Had that tornado been any closer, it could have picked Sam's truck up like a Hot Wheel. Sam got away clean. Others around Ogle County weren't so lucky. The tornado tore a 30-mile path of destruction through Rochelle and Fairdale. It claimed two lives, injured 22 others, and caused millions of dollars in damages. According to the National Weather Service, it was the strongest tornado to hit Northern Illinois in over 25 years. On September 19th of 2022, a 7.6 magnitude earthquake struck the central Pacific coast of Mexico. People in Mexico City felt the earth shaking beneath their feet. Those on the ground ran every which way for cover. A pair of affluent Mexicans endured the quake from their penthouse pool. While everyone else ran for their lives, this guy figured he'd ride the waves. To be clear, what you're looking at is not supposed to be a wave pool. Their calm day at the penthouse pool went south pretty quickly. Just look at how high those waves are getting. Water floods the deck, and the waves get bigger and bigger. If you're going to get stuck in an earthquake, 
you might as well do it in style. September 19th is a sad day in Mexican earthquake history. The 2022 quake came on the anniversary of two other major events, an 8.0 in 1985 and a 7.1 in 2017. A nationwide earthquake simulation alarm blared across the country to commemorate the previous earthquakes. The same alarms rang again less than an hour later. This time, it was real. Now that is what we call a coincidence. Jilin is one of three provinces that make up northeastern China. It shares a border with North Korea and is known for its vast mineral reserves. On May 31st of 2015, an EF-1 tornado ripped through Jilin Province, near Hubei County. Winds peaked between 86 and 100 miles per hour, and the storm grew over half a mile wide. It lasted about 20 minutes, but that was long enough to cause some serious damage. A few drivers were lucky enough to catch the whole thing on camera. <laughs> That thing looks less like a tornado and more like the end of the world. It doesn't look like a traditional storm, but you can still make out the rotations going left to right. Aftermath footage shows a group of people gathering around a flipped bus. But that wasn't the only vehicle the tornado flipped. You can't tell from the video, but the tornado passed right over the Yangtze River. It caused a cruise ship full of 400 people to capsize on the river. Many of the tourists were elderly folk on a scenic tour between Nanjing and Chongqing. Uh, life must be nice sitting on the beaches of Santa Barbara, California. The sun is shining, the water is warm, and the sand feels great beneath your feet. All that quickly changed on September 3rd of 2017, when a microburst storm took the city by surprise. It was complete chaos when the storm appeared out of nowhere. Funny enough, people had flocked to the beaches to find relief from a recent heat wave. Moments later, they were holding on for dear life. Anything that wasn't bolted down got blown away, especially umbrellas and trash cans. Our camera woman braves the storm as long as she can. Then, a large piece of debris comes flying toward her. She screams and ducks inside, but she's not going to let this storm ruin her viral moment. You can't see anything up the street, but you can hear plenty of loose objects smashing all over the place. Those pieces of metal you see on the ground came from somebody's roof. Unfortunately, it was hers. Our camera woman heads up top to inspect the damage. Her entire roof is gone. The hole in the skylight is like putting salt in her wounds. Things go from bad to worse when she realizes her entire home is flooded. Her office looked really nice, too. 
According to the National Weather Service, a microburst is a localized column of sinking air or a downdraft within a thunderstorm. They can reach wind speeds of up to 100 miles per hour, which is equal to an EF1 tornado. On November 30th of 2018, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck in Anchorage, Alaska. Most people don't think of Alaska when they picture earthquakes, but Anchorage is in the middle of an active tectonic zone. In fact, Alaska has between 50 and 100 earthquakes each year, accounting for 11% of global events and half of all U.S. earthquakes. The quake struck around 8.30 a.m. Early travelers at Ted Stevens International Airport were getting ready to board their flights. Then, suddenly, the ground began shaking. The lights started flickering, and everyone launched into a full-on panic. Well, everyone except this guy. Still shaking. That was huge. What a ride. Look at this. While on his way home from Nevada, our cameraman finds himself stuck in the middle of a powerful earthquake. The whole airport starts shaking. Someone nearby keeps yelling earthquake, earthquake over and over again. The worst of it only lasts about 10 seconds. Imagine the adrenaline rush everyone must have felt once it stopped. People start clapping as a few sirens go off. Eh, they're probably the same people who clap when the plane lands, anyway. It goes off without saying that flights in and out of Ted Stevens were cancelled until further notice. Thankfully, they were able to reopen a few hours after the earthquake. Our cameraman made it home with a crazy story to tell. On May 28th of 2021, some farmers in Staraya Taraba, Russia got trapped in a scary storm. Some called it a hurricane, others called it a violent windstorm. Seeing as how news out of nowhere Russia is tough to come by, we'll let you be the judge. Whatever it was, it caused widespread damage to their farm. Not to mention their village of about 300 people. But it wasn't like a little wind was going to scare these tough Russian farmers, right? The rain blows sideways, and you can hardly see anything if it isn't right in front of your face. Using some quick Google tools, we think the text in the top left corner either says, beware of sloppiness or caution profanity. Judging from the situation, we're leaning toward the latter. Look how the wind carries those silos across the farm like they're nothing. The entire property looks like it's rolling down a steep hill. Seeing as how this guy's entire farm disappeared in under 20 seconds, we're assuming there was lots of profanity going on. Zhejiang is a small county in Sichuan Province, China. On December 18th of 2019, a 5.2 magnitude earthquake struck about 9 miles beneath the surface. It was a rough morning for many people around Zhejiang and Neijiang City. Morning commuters were forced off the side of the road. Heavy sleepers were awoken by violent shaking, and some school children got to practice their earthquake drills.
We hope that guy on the motorcycle didn't crash when the earthquake struck. Just look at how violently it shakes the street camera. We see a cat dart for safety in a dark apartment. Thankfully, none of the heavy furniture fell over. Our next cat can't go anywhere. The poor little guy must have been so scared. Probably as frightened as these kids were when they had to duck under their desks. Aftermath photos show some small items tipped over. Nothing looks that bad, and reports indicate only five people suffered minor injuries. We do feel bad for whoever lost their potted plant, though. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.